What's up everybody, Coach Mills here, coming at you with a brand new Valorant video, and in this video we're going to be breaking down what separates a pro player, professional Valorant player from a player who is hard stuck, because it seems like pros are always getting better, they're just hitting more shots, they're popping off more, and always improving at a dramatic rate, but a lot of players can't seem to improve at all, so we're going to be breaking down exactly why that is, and what you can do to tap into that power level that pros have where they are just dramatically improving every single day getting better and better and becoming absolute apex predators in the competitive scape of valorant but if you want to improve at valorant very very quickly the game leap website is the best place that you could possibly go to not skill cap where they repost youtube content to their website and not pro guides where they charge you an arm and a leg to get something like 10 minutes worth of content do yourself a favor and go check out the game leap website in the links down below where we're packed to the brim with tons and tons of exclusive content just for you but enough about that let's jump into the video now the first thing that pro players have that your average valorant gamer will simply not have is the competitive mindset this is really dialed down to three big things you play to improve you play to win and you take games seriously how many people have you ran into in your ranked games that seem like they're just messing around they're not taking games seriously and they're not playing things optimally every single time they see the scoreboard and they're up by a lot so they play incredibly lazy they don't play discipline and they don't go through the motions correctly when you are a competitive player you want to not only just know how to win against enemies but how to stomp them how to play perfectly and without any mistakes you gotta understand that pro players often get themselves VOD reviewed or they self VOD review every single day reflecting their mistakes trying to eradicate every single one of them and that's something that you should do as well now another big part of that is not be anti-meta there's a growing amount of people and it's really in any game that just don't want to play what's good they think a character is really powerful and they just want to stay away from that character or strategy because they want to be different they don't want to play meta but that's not the competitive mindset you need to learn how to play the meta why things are good and not go against the grain in that way you can use what players pro players specifically have already showed us and can teach us and we take that and we try to do that to that same level or even improve on it better a really good example of this right now is the shotgun sages that are just running around like crazy or just shotgun one tricks period now yes this strategy can climb you up the ranks of valorant but is that gonna make you a better player is that gonna make you a competitor and if those guns get nerfed tomorrow are you just gonna be trash because that's the only thing you learned how to do you got to think about these things when trying to become a better valorant player and always make steps towards that goal now moving on to the second thing that separates pro players from hard stuck players is the fact that pro players never stop learning you might think hey they're pro they've already solved it all they already figured it all out they don't want to learn from anyone but no pro players learn so much every single day and they're always learning incredibly fast because they're seeking more knowledge you see pros watch other pros they watch streams all the time and they will often watch tournaments we just saw a reveal where players showed how many people they watched and for what hours like who was their top three most watched people and all of the top valorant pros most watched twitch channels were other valorant pros that just shows that they are putting time and effort into not only watching valorant but learning every single second even when they're not playing the game now we're going to the third thing that pros do that an average player doesn't and it keeps them hard stuck is pros have a disciplined schedule of play time they play at least a little bit every single day and they almost play as if it's like a workout regimen or you know like you're going to school you see while your average person might go through highs and lows where they play a crazy amount of time in one week and then they take a week off from the game a pro has a disciplined amount of play time not to burn out they're not playing like 80 or 90 hours plus a week unless they're really enjoying it at the moment but they're always maintaining a certain amount of play time so that they never build up rust because you got to remember that any day that you wake up don't play at all and go to bed again you're going to be building up more and more rust that is going to take more and more practice or play to actually break off to build you back to the level you were at before and you're not going to be able to improve at all while you're rusty so having a disciplined schedule of play time always keeps you unrusted and always ready and malleable ready to improve every single day now moving on to the next big thing
thing that pro players can do that a lot of players can't is the ability to shrug off till now you see i understand why you get really emotional when you're playing a game you get really really passionate but you see a lot of the times pros don't get that passionate unless they're actually playing in a real tournament and there it's understandable you're at the height of your emotions but the best players have an actual grasp on your emotions that's pretty much true not only in video games but pretty much in anything if you let your emotions control you you are actually going to become victim of your own emotions and they're only going to hinder you not help you you need to learn how to separate your emotions from your logic yes it can be incredibly frustrating to die to the same stupid strategy over and over again but you need to not tap into that emotion that rage that sadness and instead tap into your logical side think of it like a problem that you have to solve what do you need to do to change the outcome if you're just getting bum rushed by the enemy what can you do to change that outcome how can you play what do you need who can you ask for help the trick here is to be solution oriented and not emotion oriented this is not gonna make you untiltable but it will help you shrug off the big amounts of till and allow you to focus far more in your games now the next big thing that pro players have that a lot of players don't have and it typically comes from the fact that pro players have scrimmed competitively before and your average player has not and it's effective communication if you never scrimmed competitively in any game you're not gonna know this right off the bat it's a skill that you have to practice communication talking putting your input in and bouncing ideas back and forth between allies telling an ally when you don't understand their plan or just inputting your own ideas if you see something that might might work. You see, this is going to be incredibly hard for people that are quote unquote introverted, but it's something that is so vital to being a top tier player in Valorant. You really need to learn how to actively communicate if you possibly can. And you also need to learn how to say information in a way that people will understand, which is a skill, not something that you know right off the bat. And it's something that you have to be actively trying to do every single game or you're never going to get good at it. Now we're going to the next big thing that pro players have that your average person or even people that are climbing up to some of the quote-unquote higher ranks like plat diamond immortal or even radiant and pro players will have no ego and i already know what you're gonna say sinatra that guy has a huge ego sub rosa that guy's super huge ego freaking shanks is always bragging about his bot on stream i mean every single one of these players have a really big ego well yes and no you see a lot of these players have a quote-unquote appeared ego because they put in the work and they can back it up with results but they do not just idly buy sitting on top of their throne and think they don't have to put in work they will always remain on top i promise you players like sinatra sub rosa and even shanks are grinding it out they're grinding ranked they're practicing their fundamentals and they're never going to allow someone to just catch up to them out of nowhere because they're not putting in the work they realize in the competitive scape that players are always on their tail and if they don't put in the effort every single day they can easily easily get passed up by the C and C of people just behind them that are not only learning from them but learning how to surpass them as well and they all want it and if you don't want it as bad as they do they will get passed up and they realize that just because they are very very confident doesn't mean they can allow their ego to just assume hey I'm better than everyone I don't have to work hard anymore because I'm already there no one's ever gonna touch me because I promise you you will get overtaken just like that now the last thing that pro players have that you your average player will not have and it's reliable hardware and a lot of times when I include this tip players freak out like oh there's nothing we could do about our hardware so I'm gonna give you actual tips to improve your hardware and even your internet so the first thing is you got to check the specs of your computer and really start to analyze what the prices are at any given moment I mean you could really easily upgrade a tiny aspect of your computer sell your old parts buy some new parts for very very cheap like some freaking Christmas money or a day at working at McDonald's and your performance in Valorant might go up like freaking 40 FPS. This is why for our budget gamers, you need to not only learn how to mess with your computer, install new parts, take parts out and build your computer, but also how to look for used parts and find really good deals, ways to sell your parts for a little bit higher than average and buy parts used for a little bit lower than average so that you can get an incredible deal and upgrade your computer to a machine that can actually play Valorant at that golden 144 FPS and get yourself that golden 144 Hertz monitor. I mean, I snagged a deal for a 144 
Sports Monitor for like 50 bucks because I really looked everywhere I possibly could and you could do that too. Get yourself the best possible specs. And then the second thing is internet. And a lot of people have internet, but they think their internet's trash. They call their internet provider. The internet provider comes. They do nothing. They leave. Your internet still sucks. Well, if you're having things like internet outages and your internet is not consistent in any means, like you're paying for a decent amount of internet, but the internet is just not very good. One thing that I did that I'm not going to suggest you do, but it's just something that you could do, I mean, hypothetically, is actually file a complaint with the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission. And by the way, this is only for United States residents, but this is an actual government organization that protects people, ensuring that they get what they pay for as far as internet and telephone and things like that. So if you're having problems, you're paying for something that you're not actually getting, you can file a complaint at the FCC and your internet provider has 30 days to leave the situation. But I mean, you didn't hear it from me. But go to the Game Leap website for in-depth advanced VODs, tips and tricks, map guides, agent courses. I mean, we got it all on the Game Leap website. So do yourself a favor. Go check it out in the links down below. But thank you so much for coming by. I hope you enjoyed the video. I love your faces and I'll see you tomorrow.